How'd an NBA Hall of Famer miss out on eight and a half billion dollars? Back in the 70s, a guy named Phil Knight was working on a small shoe project. Today, we know this company is Nike, but at the time, there were two brands that dominated basketball, Converse and Adidas. Phil wanted to make a splash, and so he targeted a young star named Spencer Haywood. He just so happened to play right next to Nike headquarters as a Sonic. Nike reached out with the deal of a lifetime. In return for promotion, Spencer was given two options. Door one, $100,000 in cold hard cash. Door two, a 10% stake in Nike. But remember, Nike was on the outside looking in. There was a real chance they could crash and burn. Because of that, Spencer's agent sold him on door one. It was safer for Spencer and for his agent, who of course got a cut of the contract. Spencer ended up putting together a Hall of Fame career before retiring in 1983, just one year before a kid named Michael Jordan was drafted and signed to Nike. Today, it's estimated that 10% stake in Nike would be worth $8.5 billion. Throw me a follow if you didn't know this. If you did, I'll sort it for a like.